Kelly Ripa and Mark Consulos appeared to have had fun at Live's Christmas celebration. The hosts lost control and started drinking, kissing, and fighting with each other. Kelly uploaded a ton of photos on her Instagram story on Monday. She was pictured with her husband, Mark Consuelos, at the home of their producer, Michael Gelman, who was throwing a party for all the talk show participants. The first party photo showed 53-year-old Kelly kissing Billy, her producer's dog. She turned the picture to the Jackson 5's, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. The dog pushed his mouth to Kelly's, and she puckered. With the caption, Kissing Lena's brother Billy at Gilman Live Holiday Kiki, Kelly shared the picture. Next up came a selfie of her with 52-year-old Mark. They smiled for the picture as she sat on a couch and Mark sat behind her. Thanks for having us at Gilman Live at Lori Eagleman, commented Kelly. After then, Kelly posted a video to her stories. In order to knock a cotton ball off a cup, the partygoers had to blast a noisemaker during one of the games. Kelly commented, party favors at Gelman Live, on that photo. When the visitors were told to leave, there was widespread mayhem as people bumped against one another and cups were overturned. Behind the players, spectators drank and encouraged them. Kelly advised the audience to quiet down when they saw Mark and Kelly on the live, said on Tuesday since some of their co-workers were intoxicated. Hush, haha, she said, listen. Some of our staff members are very hungover today. Both Mark and the crowd chuckled. Kelly went on in a low voice. There may or may not have been a little holiday gathering at Gilman's house, she continued. Gilman's mansion, Mark chimed in. For our producers, Kelly went on, yes, his mansion in the sky. For the producers where they get to play squid games for their holiday bonuses. Mark reported that there wasn't much drinking going on when he left, and he left early. Kelly continued by saying that everyone went under their cups when her husband left. Mark went on to say that since it was his first time attending the party as staff and not as Kelly's guest, he ought to have stayed longer.